What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny, traveling this weekend for a conference, so a little bit of a different look here, but this is such an important, important thing that happened. Really, truly, you live inside of a conquered nation. You live inside of an ideologically radical, subservient cult. And Joe Biden proved that this weekend by disgracing our flag. This was so important. We had to stop and pause and do a recording to bring this information to light here. You must see what happened at the White House this weekend because this is absolutely elemental to everything that we've been talking about recently. How these people care only for their own agenda and not for the country that they live in. They're goal is to turn America into a husk of itself to prove that America is a conquered people. You must understand this. 25,000 likes this tweet from last night. What did we say? U.S. flag code decrees that the American flag must always be in the dominant, not subservient position. Joe Biden, commander in chief, defaced the American flag by flanking it with the alphabet flag at the White House today. The enemy is inside of the castle walls. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what was hanging outside of the White House during the Pride event at the White House yesterday that Joe Biden hosted. You can see here both American flags flanking the alphabet uh, flag plus the cult, you know, plus like the cult levels here. It's I mean, reli it's religious. It's religious in its observance. It's illegal. Tom Fitton saying to advance revolutionary transgender agenda targeting children, Biden violates basic tenets of U.S. flag codes and disrespects every American service member buried under its colors. U.S. flag code uh, section seven, the flag of the United States of America, should be at the center of the highest point of a group when a number of flags or states or localities or pennants of societies are grouped and displayed from staffs. This is Joe Biden desecrating U.S. flag code. Tom Fitton, of course, linking here to the American Legion and their order of the U.S. flag code, the American Legion, of course, naturally uh, a veterans organization that does a lot of flag work, including uh, some of the most important flag work, the dignified transfer. And so, yes, uh, Joe Biden broke American flag code yesterday uh, in order to progress uh, to, to, to show fealty to the new state religion. And that is what people are saying online. This is pagan America. Joe Biden tweeting this, of course, not including the other American flags because they're getting backlash from that. This is pagan America. Today, the People's House, your house, sends a clear message to the country and around the world. America is a nation of pride, pride being one of the seven deadly sins. This is what we are trying to establish a state religion looks like. This is what trying to establish a state religion looks like, says the Catholic vote. Joe Biden claims to be a Catholic. Shocker, ladies and gentlemen. He is now trying to establish a brand new religion. If you follow Joe Biden's stances on abortion, you'll tell, you can tell that Joe Biden absolutely is not a Catholic, nor does he believe anything about Christianity. Joe Biden believes in himself. He is a hedonist and a Satanist. This is a flag. This is the flag the U.S. government expects young men in the military to die for. That's right. Ain't nobody died for this flag. Nobody pays taxes to this flag. Uh, no, no, no government passed laws based on this flag. Uh, this is desecrating. This is a desecration. It's a desecration of, of obviously, um, of like the, 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 the legacy of America, but also a desecration um, religiously because this is the establishment of a state religion. This man is allegedly a Catholic. Uh, he surely was taught the sin of pride. Proverbs 16.5, the Lord detests the proud of heart go unpunished a nation of pride what's next a nation of their seven deadly sins the right should hang this picture next to every military recruiting office the right should send this picture on a flyer to every registered republican and gop leaning independent in the weeks before the election that's right this is angering so many people a lot of them veterans a lot of them people who fought for this country who did not fight to see the american flag displaced by a religious cultish symbol. Tim Pool saying, does this flag divide the United States? Yes. The president knows this flag is not supported by most of America, but he does not care. Flying the flag of ideology over the flag of country, says Tim Pool. Quoting, of course, this image. What does it mean when my nation places a new flag in a position of primacy on the building 
that houses the president, you might be saying to yourself, that means you are a conquered people, ladies and gentlemen. What Aaron McIntyre says, you are a conquered people. You might be saying that to yourself. Defining photos of the Biden presidency. Here we go. And again, I want to note, this isn't like the rainbow flag. And there, there, there's been no problem with people selling rainbow t-shirts or rainbow cups or coasters. Ain't nobody has ever, ever, ever cared about that. We care about predations on children, ladies and gentlemen. We care about so much more of the radical Marxist agenda that this flag represents. And Joe Biden being the old, dusty husk that is bringing that forward will be his lasting, embarrassing, degrading, debasing legacy. If you want to be further infuriated, check out this supercut of Joe Biden humiliating himself uh, yesterday at this event. The embarrassment continues. Uh, my, fa my favorite is Joe Biden trying to save the event. Uh, when nobody knew what was going on, this administration is truly the most radical, vindictive, and evil administration in American history, disgracing our American flag on our White House. And they wonder why there's a recruitment problem in the military. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can stand, if you could stand the cringe we just went through, you're going to love this. Watch. As commander in chief, I was proud to have ended the ban on transgender Americans, transgender Americans serving in the United States military. I think that, yeah, this is on. Joe, you're going to have to come back out because we have our entertainment and everybody's waiting for that. Not that they're not waiting for you. <laughs> so, Joe, come on back. He'll come back out. He'll come back out after the entertainment. We want our kids just to be kids running around and, hey, eating too much sugar. <laughs> to laugh with the friends that we wish we saw more often, to find solace in the arms of people who see us for who we are, to celebrate the beauty and the resilience of this community. You told me all that time, so don't apologize. Give it to me one more time. Hey. You know you love a pretty girl. Hey. Give it to me one more time. Hey. Clyde here in the South Lawn when I signed the historic Respect for Marriage Act. It protects the marriage of same sex and interracial couples. But for all the progress we made, we know, we know real change and real challenges still remain. When a person can be married in the morning and thrown out of a restaurant for being gay in the afternoon, something is still very wrong in America. <clears throat> That's why the Congress must pass and send me the Equality Act to qualify protection for the LGBT community. <laughs> 